In this video, I'm going to show you how I create a Microsoft spreadsheet with my client and contact information. So that way I can use it as a marketing tool and as a way for me to track my client information. Okay, so first let me show you how I do this. This is Microsoft. And so here we're going to say new Google Sheets. Okay, this is going to be online. The reason we're going to do it this way is because if you use the Google online program, you can access it from anywhere. So any computer, as long as you could log on to Google. Okay, so we're going to come here and we're going to say clients of ABC company. Okay, so let's say the name of your company is ABC and this is your list of clients. Okay, so in column A, what we can do is say uh, company name. So let's say you have a client and their name is uh, Jackson Market. You can put it there. We're going to say contact person last name, contact person, first name. Then we can say, because the more you break it down, the better. And then here you could say their information. So you could say address, telephone number, you could say email, and you can say social media handles or handle see what happens like how this is hidden the way you can fix that is by going right there in the middle of emf and then you just push it you hold it down and then you push it to the right same here see if i want to expand this i just go where i see those bars appear in between g and h hold it click it and hold it and push it to the right okay and i think i want to expand this one a little bit more as well so let's put some examples here and this is a great tool for anyone who's like in like accounting anyone who works in like let's say an architecture it could be for lawyers okay now let's start to fill it in let's say you are one of your clients is company uh we, we're gonna say jackson market right let's put jackson market let's say you have another company that you work with and their name is uh joe the handyman another company is allen's towing so but let's say you have a client who is not like a business it's just an individual let's say you're a real estate agent and you are working with a person by the name of cassie munoz so we're going to put munoz and we're going to put cassie just like that you don't have to put a company name then you would put their address here and then you would put a phone number, email, social media handle. So whatever you have, that's what you would put. And then what's nice about this tool is you could market to these people once a year. Like, for example, if you have all their addresses here, then you can send them all their Christmas cards, their holiday cards. If you have their phone numbers, maybe you can send them texts once or twice a year to let them know what's new with you and to ask for referrals. What we can do right here, I think we should make this one here, this first row bold. If you come, basically what I do is I highlight the whole thing like this, highlight, then come and push bold. Uh, and then we can also change the color. So if you come here to this little paint bucket thing, make it a different color so that way it stands out more another thing i like to do is i come right here to this corner and then i put a bigger font see this has to do with the font size and i just want to see it bigger like for me for my eyes it just makes sense to do that so there you go uh, the last thing i want to do is i want to come and highlight all this so basically you just click here and then you drag and then you let go and it highlights however much you want and I am gonna put borders. So I come to this key and I click on that and there you go, I have borders. The last thing I wanna show you is this sheet. See how at the bottom here it says sheet one? If you left, actually right click, you right click, then you come to rename. You can call this clients. Then what you can do is make another sheet on the same thing here. You can make another one by pressing the plus button. See how another one opens up a blank sheet? Come here, right click, then click, left click on rename and call this potential clients. Okay, so one is clients, that means they are already with you. And this other one is potential clients. That means people you've like come in contact with, that you're working with, 
but yet they have not like you haven't they haven't turned into business yet you know they're not clients yet so my suggestion would be to have two different tabs under this one thing here that way you can have just one document to track everybody so my suggestion here would be to copy all this so you come to here this company name copy the whole thing you come here you right click you say copy come to potential clients click on this box right click and paste right here paste now i know it looks all like converged together but if you just go like this and expand they'll fall into place and that's the tool the little trick that i showed you a little while ago my one suggestion would be here to add a column and i'm going to show you why see how it says insert column let me show you how to do that come to this h here click on the h or whatever column you're on right click it and say insert one column to the left insert one column to the left so here you want to say follow up date very important because you want to track how often you are following up with these people until they become a client of yours okay and this is an organized way for you to keep track of your clients my recommendation would be for you to make sure you're subscribing to this channel so that way in the future when I share new videos which come out usually twice a week you will be notified and I would suggest if you have anybody else who happens to be a contractor anyone who has a small business a caterer make sure you share this video with them because I bet you just from learning this very basic thing they can be able to grow and prosper in their business I appreciate you being with me and I will catch you in the next video